Well, good day, Tubes. Gotta apologize for today. I'm <clears throat> a little bit coldy-ish. Uh, I haven't had a cold for like two years, and all of a sudden I get a cold. <clears throat> but anyways, <laughs> today we're gonna have a look at the Mega Smasher. It's actually started yesterday. Kind of forgot about the Mega Smasher sale for Princess Auto, so we're gonna have a look at what's going on in here today. So cast iron cookware. These things are kind of cool, these uh, steel hitch trailer or cargo thingies, but made of steel, I think they'd probably rust up fairly quick. I doubt they gave them, gave, gave them, <laughs> given them very good, uh, oh, come on, very good coatings of anything on them things. So, what else we got here? Ooh, large wooden dog house. I'm going to need that soon. No, I'm just kidding. Tow behind aerator. I wouldn't actually mind doing that some of that at the cemetery but the problem is with all the in-ground markers and stuff would be pretty hard on the markers i think so but anyways brass fire nozzles Ooh, hose reels some pumps Ooh, wood splitters wood splitters okay let's see what we get on the next page here Ooh, sprayers. No thanks. Spraying stuff's not good for you. Oh, that's kind of cool though. Hmm. Wouldn't be probably too hard to make something though like that. That'd be a good little project maybe. Solar lights. What on earth is C? Serrated edge, edge lawn edger. Okay. Looks like a zombie tool. <laughs> Shovels. That looks like work. What do we got here? Smoke grill, smoke and grill, sweet. Oh, what is that? Camp stoves. Mm, that's not a. That's not a bad idea. I wonder if they'd have like a. What do you call that? Not the grill, but the flat platformy thing that you put on top. You could do like pancakes on it and stuff. Extension RV cords. It's pretty good price there for 50 feet. I could almost use a spare one for our RV the odd time. But, uh, well, still got the pressure washers on. <clears throat> like hot pressure washers. Man, they're so expensive. I'd love to get one, but they're so pricey. Wall mount electric pressure washer. They seem expensive for that. I mean, it's. It's only 400 PSI. That seems expensive though. Hmm. Oh, there's a three point hitch bot scraper. I got one of those already in the back there. I haven't used it much, but. Oh, and a weed burner. Weed burner. Okay, why is this not working for me? Trailer hitch stuff. Tires, fenders, and locks. Lights. Jacks. Ooh, there's something handy. Hmm. AC stuff. Ooh, what is that? Digital Amplified HD Outdoor Antenna. Huh. I don't know if you guys do much on your phones or whatever but there's just been an ad going around i don't even know if it i think it's a total fake thing but it's basically a, a 110 plug that you plug into a coaxial cable that you plug into your tv that gives you a whole bunch of channels wouldn't that fry your thing <laughs> you don't plug that into the wall i wouldn't think like that but anyways welding stuff trailer stuff i would really like to get i oh, they don't show it in here i really like to get for my travel trailer it's one of those 12 volt um, electric blue jacks. I don't seem to show them here this week. Oh, come on. Now, that little trailer. Never, ever, ever, never, ever buy one of those. They are absolute crap. Kind of hard to see on here, but where the tire goes in, there's like a triangular piece of this garbage that they use here with an axle that just kind of gets pinched in there. It will just tear apart if you put like 
like 100 pounds in it that it, it'll wreck it. I had one of those ones. TSC special. And about that price too. <laughs> and it was just garbage. I fixed it a couple of times and put a new axle on it. And then I just ended up building my little green trailer. Never had a problem since. Now this is interesting. I would like to build one of these. Maybe a good next um, uh, next winter would be a good project for that for moving trailers and stuff inside and outside the garage. It's you know I think it would be kind of handy. But uh, it's fairly straightforward. You just have to get the the height right here so you can scoop under your trailer and then tilt it back and it lifts it up off its jack. There's a little bit to them, but not, not too bad. Whoa, get back here. Uh, air compressor stuff. What is that? Portable auxiliary air tank. That's kind of cool. Oh, an air dryer and pellets are on sale. That is interesting. I'm going to need some of them soon. Wow, they have sure put them up. When I first started buying them, they were 32 bucks, I think. That's the normal price. It's 50 bucks now. But I think my dryer here is needing some more. Come on, turn. This is a big flyer this week. I think we're... Oh, we even got like a sub-flyer. Cool. So we've got hose rail stuff. Spray guns. Oh, spray guns suck. <laughs> Actually, they blow. <laughs> but anyways. Surplus. Ooh, ooh. Don't really need any more of those right now. But anyways. Oh, she'll make it even harder for me. Surplus, surplus, 109 bucks for a chainsaw. I know that's a chainsaw that nobody will be able to service for you because nobody would will want to. <laughs> Around here, anyways. Outdoor lantern. 40 pack of batteries. Those got to be garbage. I wish when they make stuff like, you know, 40 pack, it sounds really good, but they probably last like 10 minutes and, oh, let's put another set in. Well, you know what? That's pretty crap. But, anyways. Ooh, what do they got here? BB guns. Hmm. Pop-up camo gazebo. That's kind of cool. Tarps and torque wrenches. Oh, seed and tiller. I don't get it. It looks like a zombie zombie tool. Uh, nut drivers. Oh, that would be kind of interesting. It's expensive though for that. No, don't see anything I really need there. Jacks and stands and... Oh, they actually sell the <clears throat> air conditioning manifold. I thought you had to be, like, licensed for that stuff. Probably to buy the stuff to hook to it, you'd have to be licensed to be able to buy it. Chain cable hoist thingies. New joint service kit. Don't think I need anything there. Oh, wash and stuff. I actually do have to wash our travel trailer. It needs a wash. Must get onto that. That's kind of neat. Pistol grip. Sprinkler pump. Oh, no thank. We got enough rain this year. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> Still raining. This rain this year has just been so... Stupid. If this was all snow, oh my goodness, we'd have like 40 feet of snow probably. Rototiller. There's a there's a there's a video that's gonna be coming up soon. I want to get our rototiller resurrected. It's got one of the Princess Auto Power Fist special Honda knockoff engines on it. Let's see how how good they are at resiliently coming back to life. Actually, it's been sitting outside for about oh at least seven years. Oh, there's another one of those things in here. Hmm. So what do we got here? Tools. 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 Mega Smasher. Oh, that's awesome. You can tell I'm kind of clogged up today. <laughs> oh, it's just one sheet. Bin storage things. Should get some of them maybe for the shed. Pegboard strip. Ooh. I'm looking for like workbench stuff. There's a small one there. I'm not paying $245 for it. Oh, lay. I build one for cheaper than that. But I want something that I can weld onto in, in the shed, right? Oh, yeah. 
metal topped something. Don't know. Huh. Storage stuff. Not really needing anything there. Oh, look at the lights. They're expensive enough still. They have come down a bit, but man, when they first, when Princess Auto first got into selling these, wow, they were expensive. Holy, everywhere else was like this kind of price. And, you know, this one here uh, would have been in like $3.99. It's $1.89 now, so it's come down a lot. Oh, winches, 10,000 pounds. That's a big mother. Gas powered winch. Huh. $12.99 though. Wow. I just leave it on the ground. <laughs> Not gonna pull it on. Pressure wash and stuff. Now, 30 feet, that's a little better, but I need another one of them for when I'm washing stuff out here, the monuments and stuff. But, anyways, I might do. I got enough uh, uh, taps and stuff out there that I'm not too far away usually, so. Pressure wash and stuff. We're running out of, running out of pages here. Jack hammers or some go kart stuff. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Gasoline hammer drill breaker, 500 bucks. Oh, it's on sale though for 349. Save 150 bucks. That's pretty good. It's probably garbage now. Who knows? Is it actually Pro Point Power Press? Who knows? A magnetic drill press. Wow, look at the price of that. That's even a knockoff. Well, that's a Pro Point, so they're not terrible bad stuff. Drill press. Ooh, big press, 50 ton. What are you pressing? Holy. And I guess that is it. Fans and bench. Oh, that's cheap for a bench. I hope I don't see them showing up here. <laughs> Compactor. That's pretty good. And that's about it. Well, nothing I can really think I think I need in there. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Anyways. I guess that's it. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later. And you guys have a good day.